the music trivia and what record labels looked like in 1958. Those I can remember. Are you sure I should listen to all of this? Well, you might not want to. Um, but there are a few things about you that uh, always make me smile. Uh, and I thought I'd share some of those. Uh, this may be veer veering into roast territory, I'm not sure. But we'll see. Uh, your legendary sense of direction. <laughs> One of them. Uh, I can remember when we take uh, our long car trips to Point Judith or to Nantasket, uh, what my mother would call the scenic route. <laughs> Drive my father insane. Uh, he, my mother would say, are you sure we're going the right way? And we'd just look at my dad and I would just look at each other and chuckle. Long day and long day with their sense of direction. Um, and then there were your, your infamous jello molds. I think Ellie was involved in, in this competition to come up with the strangest concoction of jello. Uh, Mom tells me that I had this all wrong and it didn't happen, but it's my memory and I'm sticking to it. Uh, seven words green jello with pearl onions. can't find your way out of a wet paper yeah. bag. <laughs> Ruth, thank you for making this necessary. <laughs> it is such a joy to see your family and your friends gathered to celebrate your life so far. Now I will kick off the reminiscences following Mary. I heard about you before we met, of course. 
when Mary was living in Arizona and I was living in St. Louis, we began a long distance courtship. Then, as now, Barry called you often. And when he began talking about me, before you and I met, she referred to me as my rival. I gathered that it was not a serious rivalry because Barry told me about it almost immediately. <laughs> now my mom refers to you as my rival. By the time we actually met, the rivalry had developed into fondness. I accidentally hit on the way to endear myself to Ruth forever. I asked to see pictures of Barry as a boy. <laughs> you brought out album after album after album, starting with dozens of pictures of this baby in a crib, lying on his stomach. Fuzzy little black and white pictures of a baby. Uh, your love and pride in your son and your grandson, and now your great-grandchildren, is returned a hundredfold. So we decided that you needed one more album, a scrapbook celebrating you with pictures and stories of your life. And we will, we will pass this around and, and let people see it after the food's gone. Now, I've only known you for about 14 years, but I have seen you weather many trials, including leaving your wonderful apartment in Weymouth Court with this fantastic view loving and caring for your husband, Lou, to the very end, as well as several surgeries, courses of physical therapy, but also many joys, including the marriage of Don and Dana, and our marriage, and the birth of Callie and Jacob. This week we spent in the beach house in Plymouth, and a fabulous two weeks that I spent along with you in Orchard Cove, where I got to meet your, and know your friends. And we had many jolly dinners at the buffet. <laughs> Remember when we decided to bring wine to toast everyone? Mm -hmm. We couldn't find the corkscrew. Mm -hmm. You are my role model for living life to the fullest, regardless of what comes. You may move slow with your walker, but your back is ramrod straight as a Marine's. You may live with aches and pains, but your smile is quick to light up your face. I hope I live as long and as well as you. Happy birthday, you. Thank you. Happy birthday.